Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's been a bit since we posted a video, but I get a lot of comments in regards to our Bear Den camp. So I actually have one here that's headed out in the next couple days. So I thought that I'd take the time and show you around. Um, I'm not gonna go through the exterior on this camp. This one, as you can see, I mean, it's got a lot going on on the exterior. Really sharp looking camp with the diamond plate and the black and chrome wheels. Um, he's done the awning. It's got a pull-out camp shaft. Um, lots of things going on here, but we're going to spend our time on the interior. So let's go ahead and take a look. So as you walk in, nothing too different here on the interior. Um, big closet, fridge, microwave, um, your big banks of drawers, your pull-out pantry. Close this door so you don't get all the road noise. But I, I mean, this one's really nice in the custom features. I mean, a lot of it, it's headed to Texas. And so a lot of the features, you know, resemble the culture and everything that goes on there. Just really turned out nice. But this is your convectional microwave. It does have the air fryer and things like that in it. So it makes it super nice. He did add an inverter so he can run this microwave off of his batteries without any issue. This is your big stainless steel fridge, two-way fridge, propane and electric, pull-out pantry. I don't have the knobs on it yet. I'm not quite sure where he wants them, so I'm going to let him decide on that. Big banks of drawers. Now, this is where the layout kind of differs, and... A lot of people ask on this Bear Den camp, you know, what layouts we can do. This is probably the most versatile layout um, or camp that we offer. We do bunk beds, dinettes, all sorts of stuff. Um, but I want to say that the last one I posted of one of the Bear's Dens with the recliners, it had a dinette set up here for the table to where it would fold down into a bed. This couple, they... I mean, it's just them, and so they didn't feel like they needed extra sleeping or anything that way. And so, really what he wanted in this camp was a big window. This isn't a slider or anything, just a solid window where he could sit and have breakfast in the morning and, you know, look at the beautiful country that surrounds him. So what he wanted is he wanted a pull-out bar and just lots of counter space. So, in these bottom drawers um or in this cabinet this is where the bar stools will be stored this is the pull out bar here and it just pulls out to where he can sit and watch all the scenery so really cool kind of a unique layout um i love how it turned out he's got the like i say the inverter he's got an inverter in this one his monitoring system his tank heaters so he does have the electric heating elements as well as the furnace is ducted into those tanks to keep those tanks warm propane gas light some overhead storage lots of neat little features these are horseshoe hooks that are kind of spread throughout the camp and then you have these reclining sofas. Most of the ones that we do don't include the center console, but like I say, where it's just um, him and his wife, they really didn't weren't interested in sleeping anyone here, and so they wanted the comfort that comes along with, you know, some of these these other styles of of recliners. So this one's got some storage in there, your cup holders. It also has a charging station for your phones there on top. Kind of a nice feature and they'll recline almost flat um which is nice if you want to take an afternoon nap i guess but these set just right ac across from the entertainment center so we don't have the tv put on yet but kind of this cool old barnwood looking entertainment center that we built um it's set up for all of his tv stuff whether he's running an ac tv or a 12 volt tv which will make it nice, give him some options there. Single queen size bed, um, no bunk up above. Like I say, generally we'll do bunks. Um, 
but this one, yeah, you can do a lot of different things. Lots of storage back here, some outlets, your thermostat for your furnace, your remote for your fantastic fan. Um, speaking of the fantastic fan, the trim on this one's kind of cool too. So it has an insert that is the exact same as what the countertops are. So it kind of gives it a nice touch and ties everything together. This wall color is called a mesquite wood. Um, very popular in Texas, so he wanted to incorporate that into his camp. So it, all of the walls are mesquite wood. And I think it turned out super. More horseshoe hooks. And you have your wood burning stove that's kind of angled here. Um, Super nice when you're sitting at the recliners watching the TV to watch that stove burn. It's almost more mesmerizing than what the TV is. I find myself drawn to the fire more than I do to what's playing. More overhead storage. Your range hood has your light and your fan in it. Stainless steel range. You have some outlets, your CO, LP detector. Um, your panel for all your electrical, so your fuses and your breakers, more drawers, and then some under the counter storage. Nice big double stainless steel sink, household faucets, lots of windows, lots of light in this camp, um, and really just tons of storage. There's storage everywhere in this camp. It definitely doesn't lack in that department. And then we'll take you up and show you the bathroom. So just like all of our camps, all hardwood doors, this is a naughty alder. Um, inch and three quarters thick. It's got piano hinge that runs the entire length. Um, tons of support there. But as you walk in here, you have your frosted glass window, your fan, mirrors for your medicine cabinet. There's a shelf in here. And your vanity sink, some drawers, more storage below. Porcelain toilet, foot flush. It does have the spray connector to it, so it makes it nice for keeping things clean. And your glass door for your shower. Some more horseshoe hooks in there, kind of finish it all off. Then you have your access and your light switches here. This one, he didn't do the Dutch door, wanted just a one piece door. So it's just a solid one piece door on it. Um, but really nice camp. Um, love how it turned out. Really good color combination. But anyways, that should give you kind of an idea of the Bears Den and one of the many layouts that we can do in it. Um, if you have any questions or anything about it, you can reach out to us. Um, here at Peak Outdoors, 435-462-7325. Or you can get us on the website at peakmountaincamps.com. Um, there's questionnaires, some things like that on there. You can send in inquiries for pricing or whatever that way. Um, but those are probably the best ways. You can also reach out to us on social media. We try and keep our social media accounts up to date with what's going on in our shop. Um, if you haven't liked the channel, please do so subscribe. It really helps get our product out there to where more people can see it. Um, but as always, thanks for tuning in. Um, and we'll see you on the next video.